Hey guys, this is Garnan from Together Somewhere. Before we left Kaolak, we wanted to visit the famed Tsunami Museum there. You see, Kaolak was the most hard hit area of Thailand during the 2004 tsunami, and over a thousand people lost their lives on its beaches. What we didn't realize is that the museum was actually gonna be harder to find than we thought. The first place we were sent to wasn't the actual place we were looking for. Watch and check this out. There's supposed to be a big museum so here's where the fault was under the ocean. It sent waves all around. I know there's an island here that got totally wiped out. And here's Kolak. So it sent these waves up and it hammered this coast here. Hammered this coast, it also hit southern India and also uh, northern Indonesia. And I guess it looks like Malaysia got hit too. But here's where we are, so you can see how close we are to the fall. So we are looking for the Tsunami Museum. We came across this place, which is kind of like, it's an outpost put here by someone whose kid really died here, right? And they have a boat that actually came up. This boat actually came up from the ocean and parked here. We're on the other side of Highway 4, so we're a good, you know, two, three kilometers from the ocean. And these are just some other pictures. Look at the size of that way. Oh, look at this. I think that's the boat. Yeah. The pictures in there. Over 4,000 people were killed in mm. Thailand, and just in this area, over 1,000. Mm. So this is the hardest hit area. So we're gonna go up the road a little ways and see another museum that's supposed to be the main museum. Hopefully we're gonna find it. So after going to two other smaller memorial sites, we have been told this is the main museum, Ban Nam Kam. Ban means house, Nam Kam means saltwater, tsunami memorial park. And this is the place to go. So we're, we've never been here before. We just got here. It's about 10 miles from where we were before looking. So let's go on in and see what it has to offer. Oh, these are pictures of people who died. Lots of kids here. It looks like we're at some sort of point. It's like the beach sort of curves here. Look at the waves that are coming from over there. Yeah. And they go that way. So it's a very pretty beach. I have no idea. It's somewhere in uh, Kaola. And we're at a point. So the waves are blowing this way, but there's a bay in there. There's a big storm coming. Very pretty beach. I guess it's nice, a good place for memorial. Who knows? This might have been the beach that got hit the hardest. Although there, you know, over a thousand people on this whole beach that got killed. So in a way, what it, in a way, it reminds me of the Vietnam Memorial in Washington D.C. It's got all these names of people that passed away, just like this. Did you get a good view down there? Just one last minute. So the wall on this side is just full of names. Thai, Europeans mostly, uh, the 
I guess have died on this beach. <laughs> so after seeing all this, which is a memorial, we were told by these two kids, no, we're still not at the museum. So they're gonna take us to the museum. We're gonna follow them. Let's see where they take us. We're on our way. We're gonna follow these two kids on a motorcycle and we got a rainstorm coming. This is kind of fun. <laughs> okay, after a harrowing tour following these two kids, we got to the museum. It's under the same name, Ban Nam Kem Tsunami Museum. Museum, okay. And uh, the problem is, today is Tuesday. It's closed Monday and Tuesday. Now we are leaving uh, Kaulak tomorrow morning, uh, but we're going to try to stop by again uh, tomorrow morning because it's open at nine. Hey guys, so as you remember yesterday we came here and this museum was closed. Well today we made it back and we're on our way to Phuket after this. We wanted to see this museum before we left. So we're going to go inside and we're going to enjoy it. Let's go. See those boats over there? They actually washed during the tsunami, they actually came from two kilometers away out in the middle of the ocean to here. This is where they landed and this is where they decided to make the, muse the museum. Kind of cool. Those boats have been resting there in peace since December 26, 2004, the day of the tsunami. So we're back at the uh, tsunami museum that we left yesterday when it was closed. And today they've let us in. It looks like they're having some sort of uh, ceremony or something today. Uh, we're not going to take part in that. We're just going to look around the museum. When they walk into the museum, all visitors are invited to watch a video which is based on a true story. It's about a little foreigner boy who was saved by a Thai fisherman during the tsunami and he returns 20 years later in search of the fisherman so he can thank him. So here are some of the clips from this heartwarming story. When you get to visit the museum, you can watch the full video, which will bring tears to your eyes. Obviously, you know, you're going to get to see it. <laughs> you just saw it, right? So what our tour guide is telling us is this is part of a larger boat that got washed ashore, and that's why it's here in the museum. Uh, the boats that were further out uh, that weren't hit by the waves obviously were saved. This is one of the boats, and it was a big boat that got washed ashore. So... Um, this shows the escape routes. This is in the immediate area. This shows the escape routes people should take. Many people uh, came, uh, were lost in this lagoon here, and over a thousand people were lost in this area. So uh, these are the escape routes they, uh, the, the children in this area practice every year, so they know where to go. The three places to go are uh, right here, evacuation building. Um, temple. And the, tem and the temple? Yeah, and, and school, yeah. And this is, where, where are we? We're here. Yes. This is where we are now. Mm -hmm. So people come here to them. Interesting. Mm. <coughs> 
So what they're saying here is when the tsunami gets um, moving quick, and it gets near the shore, it's going 700 to 800 kilometers an hour. Wow, that's fast. That's what gives them all the power. And they just go up, you know, inland very far because they're, they're moving so fast. So these are some of the things people held on to in order to survive during the tsunami. So these were presents, and maybe some things were presents. Many tourists did like a holiday, happy new years. Yeah. That's what you can say there. So this is what's left of a four-wheel drive after the tsunami. Did this car get hit by tsunami? Yeah, it probably got wow. thrown into the trees and everything. It just got massacred. That's how powerful those waves are. So this museum also serves as an evacuation center during future tsunamis. So let's see what it looks like. This is an evacuation center. We're at least 30 meters high, right? This, this goes up to 30 meters, but this can house lots and lots of people. Up at the top, which goes up another uh, maybe uh, 20, 30 meters, it can have 30 people at the top, but here many, many more people can stay here. And this is, this is uh, high enough to keep you safe from a tsunami, most tsunamis. Okay. And keep in mind, we're uh, what, a couple kilometers inland from, mm -hmm. the, from the ocean? Two kilometers. Two kilometers inland from the ocean. So, very nice. Let's very check nice. upstairs. Yeah, let's go to the top. Each of these layers can contain 30 people, and we've already gone up two, so we're going to go up one more, and I'm going to uh, show you a picture from the top. Okay. Uh, 12 meter. 12 all, meter. All together, 12 meter. From the, from the, all the way up here, going 12 meter? Yeah. No, it's more than that. It's more than that. It's more than that. Yeah, she said 12 meter. Yeah, she said 12 meter. Ah, oh, look at that ocean. Yeah, so you can see the ocean way away. But this is maybe some sub meter? No? Only sip song? <laughs> so <laughs> our tour guide says we're actually only 12 meters high. It seems a lot more than that. You can see the ocean out there, which is about two kilometers away. And this is the key evacuation center for this area. But each of these levels can hold 30 people, but down there, it can hold a lot more. And she was saying for most tsunamis, that's high enough to be safe. And you can see two boats out there that were actually washed ashore from way out there in the ocean during the tsunami. Wow. They just kind of are resting there. That's where they, that's where they rested. 
So we are uh, finishing our tour of the Tsunami Museum. It was very hard to find, but we finally found it. We came here yesterday. It was closed and we came back today. And we have a great uh, tour guide, Kuhn Fern, who's given us a great tour. And there's other tour guides here. So if you're in the area, I would suggest you come by. It's very interesting to learn about what happened here back in 2004 and also how you can protect yourself from being in a tsunami. They actually have information about that. So just like to thank uh, Kun Fun and she's going to tell you in Thai how you can come here and uh, and we'll interpret. <laughs> So uh, that's it for today. We've uh, hope you enjoyed the tour of this museum. We certainly found it found it very enlightening. Until we see you together somewhere again soon, we'll be seeing you in the near future. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.